So you're looking to start a business, you might feel overwhelmed, and that's okay, that's normal. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the most important things that you're gonna to need to know in order to start a business, so stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to Grow by Joe. I started my business back in 2007 uh, from nothing. Uh, I've grown it to 100 employees, doing millions of dollars a year now in business. There's been a lot of things that I've learned from starting a business from absolutely nothing. I'm gonna share some lessons and some things that I learned the hard way so you don't have to go through the same mistakes that I did. So first off is you need to get incorporated. That's number one. If you're gonna start a business, it's so important that you, uh, that you open up a corporation. Um, you wanna put a corporate shield in between you and your personal assets. Very important, get a corporation started. Don't worry, at the end of this video, I'll share a link and I can help you get that uh, accomplished. Number two is expenses. You need to get this down on paper, but you need to estimate and project out what your expenses are gonna be for the first year in running your business. A really good rule of thumb is having a year worth of your monthly business expenses in the bank, but don't forget to map out your personal expenses and what it takes to run your personal life as well too. A lot of people forget about that or make that mistake, and if you're leaving your job and starting a business, you're not gonna have that personal income coming in. So the combination of both, it's a lot, um, but just make sure that you, you estimate that and you plan accordingly uh, for that. Also, don't forget to put together all the expenses it's gonna take to open up your business. So if you have to buy equipment, if there's office space, if you have to furnish an office or a retail location, all those things you need to put together and map out so you know what you're getting yourself into and you know exactly how much capital you're gonna need. Super important. Number three, capital. Get your capital together, AKA money. You need money in business. If you're gonna open up a business with no money, you are setting yourself up for failure. Don't do it, wait, save money, work somewhere, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with having a job. If you wanna open up your business, then utilize that job to save money so you can go off on your own if that's what you wanna do. But if you don't save up money, um, if you don't have your financing in place, it's a very dangerous thing to get into business without enough capital. Treat your business like a franchise from day one. I wish that I did this earlier on in my business. Once I understood this, once it clicked, it was a game changer and we were really able to scale our business and put the right people in place, systems and structure. I can't tell you how important system structure and process is. There's a great book. I wish I read this book before I started my business. It would have saved me a lot of time and aggravation and money. Um, that book is called The E-Myth Revisited. It's by Michael Gerber. Check out that book, make sure you read it, super helpful. Number four, be willing to change and be willing to pivot. You might've heard me talk about this in some of my other videos, but it's so important. Here's a fun fact and something you might not know. I'm actually gonna give you two facts. When Starbucks started out, they actually started out in 1971 um, and they resold espresso machines uh, and coffee beans, that was their business. They had no plan to have all these locations all across the country and world now, uh, which is amazing. Howard Schultz, who was the, one of the founders um, and owner of Starbucks, after a trip to Italy, came back and said, we need to have these European coffee shops and change the whole business model and boom, Starbucks um, is what it is today. That's pretty amazing. Another fun fact is Nintendo. Nintendo actually used to sell all these random products from instant rice to vacuums. Who would even think that? It took them a number of years to find the video game system and that became their core product and Nintendo became what it is today. That's pretty wild, so be willing to change. And number five, super important, be committed. You have to be committed. If you're starting a business, you're gonna to have to make sacrifices. It is not gonna be easy in the beginning and it's not supposed to because if it was, everybody would do it. Clear your personal calendar because your personal life will be put on hold while you get your business started. If you want your business to be a success, it's a never ending learning curve. It's constantly getting out of your comfort zone and it's pushing yourself um, to make it happen. If you're not willing to do that, starting a business might not be for you. And I'll leave you with this, a really cool quote by Tony Robbins, I really love this one. It's people overestimate what they can accomplish in one year and underestimate what they can accomplish in 10 years. Really think about that as you're going to start a business, even in your, your business life and your personal life. I can't tell you how true this quote is because when we hit our 10th year in business and we look back and all the things that we accomplished and where we were after 10 years was truly amazing. Along those years, I stayed focused, I stayed committed, and I was grinding. But it didn't all happen in a year. So if you're expecting to have these massive results year one, you're setting yourself up for failure. So just be committed, it's super, super important, and remember that quote. 
So if you're at the point where you're ready to take those next steps and start a business and you need help with getting your corporation started um, or any other um, services um, and things that go along with getting a business started, check out my link below. Uh, one of my team members would be happy to help you get your business off the ground. We can even go over some personal financing options that are available today and some other things that you need to know um, on your way to uh, business success. I really look forward to helping you get your business started, helping you grow your business. I wish you nothing but success. Stay committed, um, stay hungry, and stay focused, my friends. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in to Grow by Joe. We'll talk soon. Take care.